I grew up skiing in Wisconsin with rope tow areas, some T-bars, no chairlifts, and uh, it, it was bare bone skiing. The first place I skied actually was Greenbush down by Sheboygan, and uh, that place is closed. I love history, I teach history. I have an affinity to these places. Starting this page, I kind of felt a responsibility to some of the ski hills that had disappeared so that it didn't get lost with time. I love learning about the, the people who built these places, the ingenuity of these people. I think that it, it's an American story. Entrepreneurs finding their way, navigating their way through the challenges of operating these small ski hills, and they're finding ways to make, make it work. Skiing has evolved and there, there, there are some great things with technology changes and everything like that, but I think we've lost some things um, from the past. I mean, you would have kids who came from maybe poorer backgrounds, farm families, they could all be out there on these hills and they could ski, you know, across a you know, whole socioeconomic spectrum. People could be out here enjoying these hills. And I think that's something that we lost. If they don't nurture skiing in places like Wisconsin and keep some of these small hills going, they're not going to have customers coming from a big swath of the country who want to go out west and want to ski at their ski resorts. I think as these places disappear, it's threatening the long-term health of the sport in a lot of ways. One of the things that I hope comes out of it is that people appreciate the areas that they have. As people read about these areas, they think about uh, some of the things that those small hills nearby actually offer them and uh, what would be missed if they, if they went away as well. <laughs>